I may not really be have really have a good Pokemon catching team at the moment, but let's just see what we got. And then clear out focus spots from there. Oh. It's just Duck Trio. <laughs> I don't even know if it's worth really even showing this. Oh, I'll kinda wait until something interesting happens. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh this is convenient, this is doing just enough damage not to knock it out. And then I saw the crit and got worried. <laughs> Cool. At least it should be really easy pickings now, right? Maybe there is something about the software I'm using that actually ups up the resolution because Duck Trio is way more hairy <laughs> than I remember. That close up really just kind of sealed the deal and all that. Uh, also, while I'm commentating, apologies if the audio sounds a little weird in my commentary. Well, Destiny's been a good friend for me for the past decade and a half of my life. But we are just not getting along like, like we used to. So I'm going to be experimenting around with other software <laughs> to see if I can find something to edit proper. Jeez. Oh. At this rate, we really aren't going to... Mirabee's going to get away before we can even address them, isn't he? Ooh, nice! I don't know where it'll fit on team, but I'm always happy to see a Dratini. Question is, am I gonna be able to catch it or am I too over level 2? So, uh, where's Swiper when I need him? Uh, do I even try? I'm not even gonna try to see Bomb, because even with it being resisted, I'm still kind of certain that it'll be too much. I like to use a Premier Ball, but uh, as a Dratini, uh, catching it at full health with a Pokeball. Something as strong as a normal Pokeball doesn't really seem up my alley. Yeah, especially if it's breaking out of that. Uh, do I have any low po level Pokemon on the party? Not really. And I really need to save the Ultra Ball for actual Pokemon catches like the Shadow Pokemon. Oh, hey, that works. And you know, the Great Ball Blue color and kind of goes well with Dratini. Uh, what do I call you on the off chance there's a way for me to squeeze you in somewhere? I don't, I don't, it's been ages, I don't think I've ever actually seen Dratini in this game. I just, it looks so happy, happy little fella. Little noodle. You know, it's a bit of a stretch, but... Noodle... <laughs> noodle... Noodle... Nala... I'll go with that for now until I can think of something better. Yeah, but it's like, of course, when I want to focus on Mirror B, that's when all the Pokemon decide to pop up on the Poke Spots and just eat all the snacks away. Great. Right. And I can't even put this one to sleep because it's a grass type. So. Your guess, of, your guess is as good as mine when it comes to figuring out how to catch this thing. You know something? I just noticed that. For the first time, I didn't get an error message the first time I did a bat, done an attack in a Pokemon battle, which I'm grateful for because it kind of makes up for all the times that all the issues I've had setting it up. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of time in between recording sessions, and I think a big factor of that is just how it takes frickin' forever just to set up the game, because for some reason, the software, the controller, and the, the mic, and maybe even Audacity, or OBS, they none of them like to cooperate. It's like, my computer, my controller, my controller and my record, my audio so recording software do not get along with the game software. Very specifically. Though maybe it's just Audacity. I'm hoping that Audacity is the issue and picking up this new software will fix the problem. God, 
I hate this new audio software already. Like, it's fine, but it's very intrusive with all of his messages, and... Uh, it's making me miss Audacity already. Anyways... <laughs> Figure while we're roaming around and doing stuff, we can purify some shadow Pokemon. So, let's get on that. Cutting around, uh, anything interesting that happens along. Shame we didn't get to play around with the Zamperols too much, but I've played around with Ampharos so much and so many other playthroughs. <laughs> Energy Ball, Agility, plus like, it's Gen 4 mechanics so Thunder Punch wouldn't be that great of a move on Ampharos anyways because it's physical and Ampharos is a special attacker and I can make excuses for days but it is what it is. That's the nice move pool though. Definitely seems like a good recommendation for anyone else playing an XG. If you don't go with a Jolt Leon, maybe squeeze Ampharos on your team. And, like, the only biggest reason I let this Haryama purify in the first place was I didn't see anything too exciting long term with it. Basically, got. Fake out to replace the shadow variant that we had before, and Vakat is pretty nice of a move. And Belly Drum, very nice harmony on it as is. And let's just say newest games really opened my eyes to how good harmony on it in combination with something like Belly Drum can be. I'm just gonna voice spoilers of current Pokemon games, even though. I was probably the only one that didn't beat them before I beat them, and even even then I was kind of slow in the whole process. So yeah, yeah as you see here, no little nine tails, even though that's definitely ready to purify. I think I decided when I actually am ready to progress the plot. Shall. That's going to be the Shadow Pokemon I go into the next part of the adventure with. Just to give up my preference of having one Shadow Pokemon on the team at all times at least. Plus it gives us a chance to play around with that alone in Ninetales. That, which is definitely new for a Generation 3 game. And I kind of want to look at the Venusaur closer because I don't remember what his normal moves were before purifying it, and I think there's some room for some fun Not that I'm actually going to use it, but I think it would be fun to see. Chlorophyll, nice ability. Okay, nothing too crazy. I think we've seen all the best moves. And Power Fire is an interesting setup. Guess it gives me protection against ice types, but kind of thinking of something a little more Hmm. I feel like fire might be a little more prominent, and so having something like water or rock might give me a slightly more coverage, but fire's not bad. Now to figure out where to put all oh, y'all in the purification. Actually, yeah, I snuffed over purifying pillow swine. Maybe I should do that, especially if I'm going to go with the nine tails. But yeah, this is kind of what I want to see is move pool. Ugh. I, Hypnosis is one of those moves that always felt way too nerfed. 60% <laughs> accuracy for sleep is bad? <laughs> it's the way it's always been, but I've always found it bad, especially when you have stuff like sleep powder. That isn't perfectly accurate, but much more accurate. And just kind of like makes this move obsolete with it. Which kind of makes it an underdog in my eyes and always wanting to root for it. It's, isn't it kind of weird to quote unquote root for a move? I'm sure it is, but I can't help it. So yeah. 
Yeah, there's a there's a lot of Pokemon that are temporarily putting Swimmer Speed on the bench, and the fact that I'm all, somehow always willing to bring it back despite that, <laughs> it's kind of a miracle in of itself. Alright, if nothing else, let's see what you got in your Purify Move pool. Endeavor... Earthquake... I feel like you'd be only worth keeping just for Earthquake. But... It's fine, I, I am not <laughs> hurting for any new possible team member choices. There's so... I've had so many good ones I've had to pass up in the past. On an unrelated note, uh, this probably won't go anywhere, but if I'm going to be doing quote-unquote filler stuff anyways, maybe I can see how many levels I can get on my dragon. And then see if I want to keep it around a little longer. If nothing... Uh, you never know. It's probably not going to be a main team, but you never know when you'll run into a very specific situation where there's so many Shadow Pokemon I want to use, and a dra and my team is really hurting specifically for a Dragon type. Never know. And rank you. So that's a Rock Poke spot. Good to know. This might be the perfect opportunity to try out our new fancy amulet coin. While I'm talking about various things in between parts and all that... A oh, boss mirror beaster! It's that brat we met before. He's over there. No, my boys, isn't that pathetic? Surely you two aren't spooked by this little boy. <clears throat> How very, very bad is that? I... I am much more dehydrated than I thought. So I'm not gonna do void. It's late. <laughs> Let's just leave it at it's late. Not in the biggest commentary mood right now, so probably gonna have to save voices for another time. We don't have mercy for anyone in our way, not even little children. Let the music play. So I don't know. There's really gonna be any significant difference besides convenience of running into Mirror B here compared to elsewhere. Not too keen on the fact that he's leading off the two Pokemon that we've seen before are definitely not Shadow Pokemon, so it could take a while before anything interesting happens. <sighs> of course, you <laughs> use the one thing that can outspeed a priority based Pokemon. Of course you do. Well, hopefully we can just get a Shadow Pokemon from him and go move onwards. Right, Pitchigat was one that we missed? Apparently so. You know, why did. In hindsight, why did they put Swiper away? It's fine. It's higher level than our main Pokemon. Oh yeah, that reminded me of the thing that I was gonna bring up before I got distracted by Mirror B actually being out on the field. I've been debating if I should do another area of Mount Battle or not to try to catch up the non-Shadow Pokemon. In level because if Shadow Pokemon, especially ones that we've already encountered and just missed Snake in the first time, if they're out leveling us, makes me kind of worried about if we're gonna be too under leveled for the area up ahead. <laughs> Sorry, Taylor Swift. You got rid of the Lily Colo, you did your job, you got the experience, we're gonna be catching this Pidgeot, so it's not like we're really gonna get much experience out of it, anyways. I kind of wonder how good the uh, 
I wonder how good you would be with just weakening the Pokemon, because you got... You got moves. You're not... You're under level. You're under the level of the Pidgeot. But also might be too under level. Oh, I completely forgot about... I completely forgot that Lin actually had Super Fang. This is good. This is... We can work with this. It's a little scary, but... I feel confident enough in this play to go for it. Like, there's no way this is gonna do more than half. Perfect. And now Super Fang will get... Right, it does half the max HP. At least now I could probably throw... A Great Ball at this pitch out now, and if it does break out, Super Fang will get in the range that I can get caught in. So let's just see. A one, a two, a three. Two down. I honestly don't know how many more to go because I never bothered to check the PDA for the list. <laughs> I'll have to renumber to actually do it this time. <clears throat> oh, I took you for granted. You're just a boy, I thought to myself. You too. This is where we all say, let's go, escape! So... How are we doing with that Shadow Pokemon Monitor? Oh, I completely forgot that the Turkle was in the daycare. Maybe I should get him out before he bankrupts my entire comedy. Oh, hey! I guess it wasn't as bad as I thought. Looks like we have... Yeah, just triple checking, but... We re-snagged every shadow Pokemon that we missed out on. That was a bit shorter than I thought it. Maybe I can actually squeeze this all in the one episode. So on the off chance I do, next time on Pokemon XG, we'll see. At this point I'm debating between either going here and progressing the plot, or doing some more side activities to give us a little more experience going into this new area. Uh, we'll figure it out by the start of the next part. Until then, take care.